Have you ever felt in the middle of the day that you just sort of need to do something to make yourself feel a little bit more sleek and toned through the core, but you don't have much time? If so, you're gonna love this. Six minutes, an interval workout that's really gonna target your abs and your bottom. So let's get started. I'm gonna set my timer and it's gonna go in eight more seconds we're gonna start. I want you to prepare by widening your stance, zipping up your core so engage your pelvic floor, your low abs, and let's start. With trunk twists, this is just a warm up. So make sure you're strong through the core, lifted through the pelvic floor, lifted through the low tummy, and again, we're just warming up. Knees are soft, nice and wide feet. Exhaling. Maybe you can go a little faster and maybe you can twist a little bit more. Really twisting through the core. Make yourself work here. We have eight more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, get ready to come down onto the floor. Okay, down onto the mat. Come on down, here we go. And engage your core. Really make sure your spine stays neutral, one leg up and then the other. Your knees can be bent if that makes it better for you, if you don't have the flexibility for the full leg extension. But breathe steadily. Keep the low back down toward the floor. Don't let it arch. You can put your hands under your bottom if that makes it easier for you to maintain that neutral spine position. Just keep breathing steady and keep your low abs pulled in, in, in. Okay, next interval is both legs. Little mini leg drops, tiny mini leg drops, not too low with your legs. Keep them up high. Both knees can be bent. Tiny little drops, guys. You should be feeling this deep in the core. I know I am. Your knees can be bent if that makes it better for you. Don't let your low back arch. Okay, and knees to chest briefly. Roll onto your belly. Come into a plank, but it's not a full plank. It's actually a very safe plank. You want to engage your core, lift your pelvic floor, pull in your low abs, and very carefully and slowly use your abdominal muscles to lift up into an elbows and knee plank. So your forearms are parallel, so don't let them come in or out. Forearms are parallel. Use those abdominal muscles from the bottom up. So your pelvic floor up, we're just holding it here really strong. This is safe for prolapse and even for diastasis recti, it's generally okay. Okay, let's go on to drops. So you're going to just drop your hip down to the left and then come back up to the middle. So you're not going to the right with your hips, it's just repeatedly to the left. You are going to feel this so strongly in your obliques right here. So keep going down and up, down and up. Don't let your back sag. You wanna stay kind of like you're going over a barrel or over a, going up to the middle of a rainbow. Think of it that way, like you're going down a rainbow on one side and then up to the middle of the rainbow. Down a rainbow on one side and then up to the middle of it. Keep those forearms parallel and then other side. So to the right and to the middle, to the right and middle. Keep breathing. I am sweating. Down and then up to the middle. So you're going down the rainbow and then up to the middle, down to the right, up to the middle, down to the right, up to the middle. Feeling this in your obliques. Try not to let your shoulders hike up toward your ears. Keep your neck long. This is a good arm workout too. Okay, 
Next, we are going to go onto our backs. So carefully roll down and we're gonna reverse all that ab work with a bridge, single leg bridge. So right leg up toward the ceiling, keep it high the whole time and go straight up and straight down. On that left, it's my left leg that I'm really feeling this in my left butt cheek and my left hamstrings. And the right leg is just pointing up toward the sky the whole time. This is a great stretch for the front of the body that we just have been working so hard and then an incredible strengthener for the back. Oh, switch sides and up and down, up and down. Same thing, other side. This is our last interval, you guys. Can you believe it? Not too bad, huh? But yet you're gonna feel so strong and so toned after this is done. You're gonna be really glad you did it. Really lift that bottom up off the ground, straight off the ground. Try to keep that knee pointing straight ahead. Don't let it wing out to the side or in. Exhale, every time you lift, press down into the heel and you're done. Shake out the legs, hug the knees into the chest. Whew. It's amazing all that you can get done in six minutes. So stretch the body out, long and lean like a pencil. Take a deep belly breath. And when you're ready, roll to your side and push yourself up to a seated position. Any stretches you'd like to do after that would be wonderful, maybe a twist. But I promised you a short workout, so I'll leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed that six minute abtastic workout. It's really fun, really way to quickly feel toned and sleek and slim and trim through the core and it's very safe. Even people with pelvic floor and abdominal weakness issues such as diastasis recti should be fine with that workout. But as always, if anything feels uncomfortable for your body, don't do it. Get to know your body, get to learn and understand your body and you're gonna just start loving the workout process. You're gonna love it. It's gonna become a part of your day that you actually look forward to. That is at least my wish for you. So remember until next time, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter.